Uh, where is college game day going for week eight? So I've got I got options here, Chris. And if we think that this week is bad for matchups, just wait until next week. We have got the ABC night game next week, which is Ohio State at Indiana. If Indiana gets a win over Michigan State, maybe you can try and sell that. But I doubt it. <laughs> if Oklahoma State gets a win over Texas and Iowa State beats Kansas State, then can you maybe sell Oklahoma State, Iowa State? You know, I. Where's that game at? Where's that game being played at? It's in Ames, and they've already been to Ames this year. Yeah, I was about to say if it was at OK State, then I would I would definitely sell that. But yeah, Clemson at Pitt. Now Clemson's already got two losses. They are expected to win on Friday night this week against Syracuse, and Pitt goes to Virginia Tech. But Pitt could be the highest ranked ACC team if uh, if they get that win this weekend. I mean, they've only got one loss. It is to Western Michigan. But, you know, maybe maybe you get Clemson at Pitt. I mean, that who knows, right? The one that I've got circled here, if they go to an FBS game, is Tennessee at Alabama is the night game on ESPN next week. So they have not been to a Tennessee game. They have not been to a uh, an Alabama game. And if Tennessee gets a win over Ole Miss... That makes them 5-2. and two. They will most certainly be ranked at that point. And if Alabama gets the win over Mississippi State, they're still going to be a top-five team. I, do you kind of feel like that might be that might be the route if they end up doing that? Now I know why we were having this conversation all along. No, we have this conversation every week. It's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. I'm, yeah, okay. That's fine. Now, That's this fine. is all... Go to- this is all based on whether or not Tennessee wins, right? CBS has already picked up the Ole Miss LSU game next week, but we've kind of seen that ESPN, they're taking game day most every week to a location where they have the game. And that's the only reason I bring yeah. that up is because they've got the night the reason, game there. The reason they haven't gone to, to Alabama is simply because they didn't want to go to a CBS game. Yeah. No, you're 100% right. And after this game, I don't know that you've got many other options to go to an Alabama game this year. So we shall see. Now, I do have other options here. I got three FBS or FCS games that I think that they might could go to. Number one FCS team, Sam Houston, is hosting number 24, Jacksonville State. That is a, I believe, a rematch of a playoff game from last year, if I'm not mistaken. But even if not, like, it's two top 25 FCS teams. And Sam Houston, of course, won the national title in FCS last year. So that could be a fun one to go to. Uh, they've also got North Dakota State hosting Missouri State. So, of course, Bobby Petrino going to the Fargo Dome. That could be interesting. That's number three against number 20. And then you've also got South Dakota State hosting Northern Iowa. That's number seven against number 16 in the FCS. Uh, any one of those might end up being a lot of fun. I I like it when they go to places that they haven't been. I don't know that I've ever seen them go to Sam Houston. Well, I, I mean, yeah, it's more interesting when they go to new places, which is going to bring me back to my question that I had when you said, well, there aren't a lot of options outside of this to go back to Alabama. You've been to Alabama every year, multiple times a year oftentimes. Why is it your God-given responsibility to go to Alabama? Uh, no, you only I, I got like 15 to 17 different – you only got like 15 different chances to go to a game. And, and you got 130 schools out there. You got a shitload of schools that have never had this thing. Why do you have to go to the same places multiple times all the time? The fact that they're going to Athens twice and they did game day from Georgia Clemson to start the season, it's just like, damn, what are we doing? At, like, I can kind of. Georgia yeah. game. It's your second time in Athens. I can kind of get it because. Uh, there there were not a lot of options. I really thought that they were going to go to Cincinnati this week. While it is a three-touchdown spread for Cincy and UCF, uh, ABC's got the game, and you've got more than a three-touchdown spread with Georgia and Kentucky. So why are we doing Georgia again? Like that, Especially Athens two times in three weeks. I mean, that just makes no sense. So uh, they, they we're, like we're to— We're in it, Gary. We're in the week seven, and they've yes. been to Georgia game three of the seven games. Yes. Yes, I'm with you. Uh, this is really, is this becoming a big time like network battle? Like they just refuse to go to uh, any of the Fox games? It has to be, but that means they're going to cut off. That 
listen, this is one of the best shows on television all year long, okay? And I, they're going they're going to ruin it playing politics. And I'm not talking about politics of the day. I'm talking about politics within the networks of this pissing contest that they've got because they're going to leave out a lot of places. And you don't always, just in case you're wondering, you don't always have to go to the two biggest teams, the two biggest schools. We've seen them go to smaller places, and they were amazing. We saw them come to Memphis SMU, and it was amazing. And that's just not me being a Memphis homer here. That It was an unbelievable thing. Nobody in the world thought Memphis was one of the best schools in the country. Nobody thought SMU was the top five team in the country. But it was a great game. Yeah. No, I'm with you. Like, you don't have to just go to two big teams. I mean, obviously, you would like for them to be two teams with – you know, good, how about this? Two good teams. You want it to be two good teams, but it doesn't but have to be two ranked teams. It doesn't have to be whatever. I would rather it be. I'd rather it be a good game than yeah. good two good teams. Why? Why do they both have to be undefeated, or both have to have one or two losses? Why can't you go to a five hundred level team? Why can't you go to UAB one weekend when they're home and and showcase that new stadium that's amazing? They're gonna have some awesome matchups. Go there. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun if they went to UAB. However, next week UAB That's like the hub of college football world. Yeah, no, UAB right now though, it, like next week they're hosting Rice. And that's that's kind of tough to but, uh, you're, you're you're only looking at next week and I'm looking at the picture and the argument. Gary, they're not going to be all year. It doesn't matter. They've already made up their mind and drawn a line in the sand that we're just we're only going to showcase these big teams that we think I think they're a little in the pocket for the SEC. I think they're absolutely trying to push that relationship farther than they ever could, and and they're going to end up hurting everybody else in, in, in part of that. Yeah, I, d- I don't really understand why they're doing... So they've got game day in Athens, but they also took SEC Nation to Athens, and that's the SEC Network Saturday morning show. Uh, you could have absolutely had SEC Nation in Knoxville this weekend. Because game I, day should have went to Knoxville. Game day should have went to Knoxville, by yeah. the way. How uh, long has Tennessee has it been since Tennessee had a big time game like this? It's been years. That's the most exciting game of the weekend. It won't be close. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree. So my my two guesses here are Alabama, Tennessee next week, and Sam Houston, Jacksonville State. I, I would like to see them go to Sam Houston. I think that that's that, that would be the most electric atmosphere that they could go to next week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.